सो हाई गैस वेलकम टू अवर यूट्यूब चैनल अगेन सो गैस इन दिस वीडियो वी विल सी हाउ टू फिक्स ट्रांसफरिंग डेडिकेटेड सर्वर वर्ल्ड टू लोकेट वर्ल्ड एंड इम्पोर्ट नॉट वर्किंग ऑन दी एंड राउंडेड सो गैस इफ यू फेसिंग दिस टाइप ऑफ एर इन योर गेम सो गैस यू आर नॉट अलॉन मैनी हा प्लेयर हैविंग दिस इशू एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी विल सी वाई दिस प्रॉब्लम इज हैपन एंड फाइंड सम रिलिवेंट वे टू रिजोल्व दिस इशू ओके गाइज सो लेट स्टार्ट सो गाइज फर्स्ट स्टेप यू डू इज ट्रांसफर द प्लेयर फोल्डर लेवल डॉट एस ए वी एंड लेवल मैन डॉट एस ए वी सो ट्रांसफर द स्पेसिफिक गेम फाइल्स लाइक प्लेयर फोल्डर एंड लेवल डॉट एस ए वी एंड लेवल डॉट मेट एस ए वी इज क्रिशियल बिकॉज दे कंटेन द इनिशियल डेटा फॉर योर वर्ल्ड एंड द प्लेयर प्रोग्रेस सो विदाउट दीज योर लोकल वर्जन मे लैक ऑफ इम्पोर्टेंट लैक ऑफ इम्पोर्टेंट इन्फॉर्मेशन सो यू कैन complete the work experience and identify the exact location of the player folder level and sav and level set dot on the dedicated server this is typically within the main library in the subfolder labeled as save or similar then you can copy the specify file or folder from the server on your local machine and make sure to maintain the directory structure if necessary avoid any potential issue with the file path now you can move to the second step so okay second step is rename the transferred file with the world files okay so you can rename the transfer file It is often necessary to match the naming convention expected by the local client if the name does not match the game may not recognize the files and prevent the world from the loading property properly after transferring the files to your local machine you can right click on the each of the transferred file and select the rename and adjust the file name to match the naming convention used by the local edge rounded client this typically involve and in ensuring the files are identical to what the game automatically generate for the world and you can double check the name for the accuracy to prevent any mismatch that could cause the game to fail to recognize the files another step you do guys is check the server start scripts the server start script can contain the specify parameter that dedicated where and how the world's files are loaded so you can ensure that the files are suitable for the local environment in is key to successful transfer so for doing that you can locate the server start script which is usually dot bat means batch files or shell script depending on the operating systems okay then you can open the script in the text editor and examining the commands and used to restart start the server and looking for the path for the arguments that refer to the words then modify any server specify path or arguments to match the local environment which may involve changing the directory path or removing the certain flags that's are only relevant in the dedicated server context you can save the file and use the updated script to start your local game which should not the point to the correct world files then you can move to the fourth step so guys fourth step is locate and copy the server world files The world files on a dedicated server are typically stored in the specified location. So, guys, you can copy these files correctly in the crucial for the transfer to be successful. You can navigate the server world's file directory. This is often found in the folder structure similarly to the this keyword. Okay, you can see on screen this is the path of the comparable directory. Okay. Then you can select all the world's file you wish to transfer. This may be including various files such as .c files or other game specific formats. You can copy these files to the safe location on your local machine where you intend to store your local worlds. Okay. Another step you do is import the world files to the local files. Okay. Once you secured copy of the server world files, the next step is import them into the local. Okay, so ensure game environment locate to the local world save directory for ensure of your game computer. This could be similar to the server directory, but under the different user path and um, save folder, you can paste the copied word into the directory and ensure you are not over 
writing any existing file unless your intent to be replace or local world with the server world then you can start the edge rounded and access the world selection menu to see if the transfer world appear if it is does you can attempt to load to confirm the transfer was successful after that you can use the second six step so guys six step is adjust the file permissions incorrect file permission are or ownership can prevent the edge rounded okay from recognizing and accessing the transfer world file so you can right click on the folder containing the transferred world files on your local machine and then select the properties and navigate to the security tab and click and edit to change the permissions after that ensure that your user account has full control over the files if is not you can select your user account and check boxes to allow the full permissions and click apply and then okay to save and change if you are non windows os so you ensure that adjust the file permission appropriate the command line for the file manager then you use the seven steps to so seven step is validate the ensure our file integrity sometime corrupted or incomplete world files can prevent the successfully import so validating these integrity of the game files through the game platform can fix these issues so if you are using the platform like steam open library and right click on the so you can ensure it and select the properties then navigate to the local files and click on the verify of the game integrity and wait for the process to complete it once the process is complete it will automatically replace your uh, bad and corrupted file to the new one okay so guys another step is contact to the edge rounded support team if you are doing all the step and do not find any solution so guys you need to connect with the support team they will be provide a better solution and troubleshooting step of your problem